So let's look at the next line of this. So we have an if statement here. And again, we use the my connection here. And what this if statement does is allow us to check whether or not we've successfully connect to the database so we can see whether or not we need we want to proceed. So I use the not operator here, the exclamation point. So basically this if statement is saying if not my connection. This is probably returning true or false. So if this is false, if if for some reason MySQL, PHP rather, was not able to connect to MySQL, right? perhaps you had a wrong, wrong address or a wrong password or username, whatever. If this is uh, turns out to be the fact that you were not able to connect, the die function will be called. Now, the die function basically just stops the PHP script in its tracks. None of this stuff will get processed. So that's what die does. Shuts everything down. And then this first argument of die basically sends a message to the page. It prints this to the page. And then you have the MySQL error. This is another function that basically calls the last error that PHP has fired off to us. So uh, in this case, it would be some error with regards to why we weren't able to connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the user to Ruta because I know that user doesn't exist. And we're going to launch the script and we're going to watch the error. We're going to see the die work and we're going to see what the error is. And here we go. Warning MySQL underscore connect error. Access denied for user Ruta at localhost. Password no. Okay, so let me explain. Access denied. I think that's pretty obvious. And it's saying for user, saying we're trying to use the root user Ruta from the localhost, right? We specified localhost here, right? And uh, and, we're, and this is an interesting one, right, rather. Using password, no. This is basically telling us uh, that we're not actually using a password, and that's why it says no. If, for instance, I go over here, and I put a password like this, just a fake password, I relaunch, using password, yes. So this is this uh, PHP telling us that uh, we attempted to use a password. That's all that is. If we go back to our code, we take out the password, save that, refresh using password no. The reason I'm, I'm paying attention to this, I'm pointing this out is because I can guarantee you that when you get into your actual PHP work and you're connecting to databases, you're going to get errors. And this is one of the errors, one of the things in the errors you're going to get. And now you know what it means. So all this stuff, again, this is repetitive. It tells you where this is happening, on what line, and it tells us the message here again. And again, the reason it's not able to connect. See, could not connect, access denied. So that basically tells us we did talk to the, the, the MySQL database. The MySQL database said, okay, what user? We said user Ruta, and MySQL said, uh, no, we, we, we deny that user access. Why? We know why, because there's no root user. Excuse me, there's no root user. So we go back, I change this to root. I press save. Go back to the page, refresh. And we can see the message is connected successfully. So let me go back to the code so you can take another look at that. So um, if we go back to our if, can, our if statement, so if we didn't get a connection, the die error comes up. Die is called. That means the script is not processed. Could not connect. MySQL error is generated using this function, of course. Otherwise, if this is false, this gets skipped. And we echo out connected successfully. And then finally, we close the connection. And that's what we have here. One thing I want to point out, actually, is let me, let me make that mistake again. Let's call it root now I want to show I want to demonstrate how if you look at our, our page here you see how all this text is print, printed out and if we go back to uh, our page you know this is all the text right in the body and I want to sh demonstrate once again how die stops the page from being processed so I just I switched this username to Ruti again so we have an error now let me just refresh you notice we have the error, but we got no other text in the page. So f effectively, as we would expect, 
PHP killed the page with the die here, so none of this stuff got printed out. So think about that when you're using die. You don't have to use just, you could use die not just with database stuff, you can do it all over the place if you want. It's just, it's a way to terminate the script from being processed if some error should occur. One last thing I want to do is I want to show you a different error message. And the reason I want to show you a different error message is because when you're learning to program, you, it's always important to pay attention to error messages. So especially in the early days, when you're learning to do stuff and you get stuff working, I would suggest breaking things once in a while, breaking the code just to see what the error message is. Because after a while, knowing and understanding error messages will uh, play a big role in terms of uh, you being able to debug things because you're going to start getting an intuition about it. You're going to get experience and you're going to read these cryptic error messages. And if you've seen them before, it'll be a lot easier for you to track down your problems. So let's now change the address and see if anything else happens. To be honest with you, I forget if we get a different error message. As you can see here, we got a different error message. Uh, unknown MySQL server host local host P, right? I changed the, uh, if you recall in the script here, I changed the address, right? And of course our error message has changed. Could not connect unknown MySQL server. And this is the, uh, the host meaning the address so basically this error message is telling us that well we, we, were, we weren't even able to find the mysql server so you can see how we have had two different error messages as a result of two different problems right the first problem is that we we actually just put in the wrong username and the second problem we just saw is we we put in the wrong address so we can see the first error message is you got a bad username the second error message was we can't even find your server. So this could be very important to understand these things so that when you're debugging things, you know where to go in terms of how to fix your problem. Okay, so far we've connected to the database. We've put in some uh, error handling here, meaning we've uh, caught any errors that uh, might occur. This is sort of a standard affair, you know, this kind of stuff. And we've closed the connection, but we haven't really done anything with the connections. We've connected to the database itself. So we've connected to uh, the database uh, on our local host, the PHP MyAdmin, uh, not, excuse me, the database on local host, but we, we haven't connected to the actual database itself. So let me back up. We've connected to the database server on the local host. Remember MySQL server has a whole bunch of databases in it. We, have, we can put as many as we want. That's called a database server. So the code that we've seen here is basically connecting us to that server on the local host. But we haven't really connected to any particular database. And in this case, we want to connect to killer. So once again, MySQL, excuse me, PHP provides code that allows us to connect to a database. And that code is, of course, this function MySQL select DB. It has one argument, and that's the name of the database you want to connect to. And since we want to connect to killer, killer, we just specify that in the function. Again, we're not going to see anything, but I just save that. And we're not going to see any errors, but we just run it anyway. And we've connected successfully. And we've connected, and of course, we've, uh, we've selected the database killer. So now, with all this said and done, we can be ready now to insert in here our actual code that will interact with the database.